Hello guys and thank you for tuning in. My name is Talio Carrizales from StockMusicLicensing.com. Today I want to talk to you about how to deal with uh, adversity and challenges or even struggles that we face when doing stock music or selling music on libraries like uh, Pond5 and Audio Jungle and, and in general the, the music licensing world really. Now, before we get into the topic, there's nothing more uh, rewarding for me than uh, getting messages uh, from my students, having success and uh, in, in selling music on royalty-free libraries. Uh, and messages like this one, for example, and, you know, it, it really means the world to me, you know, that, that this uh, person or this composer has taken uh, my premium course or, or, or some of my programs uh, and they have seen success, you know, that's really rewarding for me, okay? And, and, and this is uh, composers that in the past they had uh, some kind of struggles, uh, some kind of um, uh, adversity when it came down to actually selling music online, and they just needed a little bit of help in a certain topic or a certain area. Now, we are all in different uh, 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 different stages. We're in different parts in our journey in uh, in the royalty-free uh, music world or in music licensing. And uh, maybe you are a beginner, and you are actually having your struggles will be much different than the struggles of somebody that is already uh, selling music on, on online. And for those who are already selling music online or licensing their music, they have different struggles uh, than the ones that are already. Uh, or from the ones that are starting out, really. So we are all in uh, different stages in our journey. And with every little success, there will always be a new uh, set of challenge or a new adversity uh, around the corner, you know. And uh, I usually get a lot of messages from my students saying like, okay, I have managed to have this uh, success. And uh, they're always, you know, very grateful for, for, for the help that I have uh, provided to them. And for me, it's a dream come true to be able to help uh, my students. And, uh, but they as well, when they, when they see success, they see that there's an, a, a, another level as well of difficulty and challenges and, uh, and struggles, really. And I usually say, like, well, it's better to have a new set of problems or a new set of struggle or a new challenge, really, or a new adversity uh, that comes with that little piece of success, you know, I mean, it's one of those things that you cannot have one without having the other. So when you actually gain uh, uh, or taste a little bit of success by selling your music or or maybe you're in a different stage, maybe you just want to get your music uh, into a library and you've been getting a lot of rejections and just the fact that you actually managed to, to, to pa get past the review or, or the gatekeepers, that for you is a success. Now your music is out there, your music is online, but now the next challenge is to actually sell that, that music that uh, has been approved. So there's different levels of successes, there's different levels of struggles, there's different levels of uh, adversity, and uh, at each step of the way, it, there will always be challenges and adversity. And the music licensing is, is a, a world is, is, is not, not immune to this, okay? And uh, I was watching as well a little bit of uh, my colleague Jesse from uh, Sync My Music uh, YouTube channel. Uh, one of the latest videos actually he was talking about, uh, I can't remember the title of the, of the video, but I'll put it on the description so you can go and check it out, about he received a comment somewhere on the Facebook group or something like that about somebody saying that he was misleading people, saying that uh, the, the sync world or the music licensing world, uh, you were just misleading people to believe a certain thing, if, uh, if it was easy or not. And I think uh, that Jesse said something like, he does say to people that it actually is a lot of hard work. And uh, with each set of uh, uh, a piece of music or with, for, with, for you to actually have any type of success, you need to put a lot of work and it's a, it's a, it's, it's a process, it's a long process that over time you will see some kind of ret return. And I completely agree with that because it's, uh, uh, I get so many messages uh, uh, with uh, not only students, but as well people that are actually uh, following me on YouTube and on social media about why am I not seeing any sales? Why am I not getting the results that I want? Why am I not uh, experiencing the, the success that I should be having uh, at this point? And, and, it, and it's hard to say exactly what the problem is, but most uh, of the times, it's just 
that you're 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 not looking at it from the the right perspective because when it comes down to music licensing. Uh, the only thing that you can actually do is to produce uh, good quality music, commercial music, and upload it, and, and then rinse and repeat. You know, when 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 I get the messages and, and comments saying that, well, I already have a hundred tracks, and again, a hundred tracks might be like a lot for some, but in the music world, it's not not that much. And, and you know, but then if you have five hundred tracks out there as well, you might think like, well, that should be enough. But r the reality of it that it's never enough. You always have to be creating good quality music uh, and, and at your own pace, you know, but obviously uh, acknowledge that, that this is a marathon. It's not something that you're going to see a quick result. And if you do, then well done to you. And I, I take my hat off if you just have a few tracks out there and being successful. But uh, generally speaking, stock music and royalty-free libraries, they, they, they're usually... A full of a lot of music and you have to build your catalog over time and you have to really test many libraries before you can say uh, I have success on this one but on the other one there's not really much going on so it's just a quick note I don't want to sound like I'm some kind of a guru positive thinking hugging tree law of attraction kind of guy uh, but at the end of the day, I'm a very down-to-earth person and, and I have my own struggles when it comes down to not only the music licensing world and, and selling my music online, but working from home and now creating as well uh, programs and, 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 and coaching and, and having students and trying to, to have a lot of uh, balls in the air. And, and with, with each set of, uh, of, uh, of, of my journey or our journey as individuals and composers, we're all going to be facing different uh, struggles and, and, and challenges. And while I'm at it, I'm actually working on uh, my latest uh, course, which is uh, about how to mix and master your music tracks for music libraries. And um, I just want to play with you for you very quickly a little uh, because I'm editing this uh, video as we speak. And I just wanted to play with for you very quickly uh, a sneak peek, actually. Uh, this is... Um, this uh, lesson is about automation inside the course. And I just want to play you a little bit. So I just have a, like a, a very quick video. It's about automation. I'm not, I don't have the, the microphone or, or the voiceover yet, but I'm just going to play you a little bit of the music track that we're going to be covering in the course. And... Um, so you can just check out what I'm what I'm doing today. So that's just a little sneak peek a video of my latest program, which is going to be out or I'm going to be opening the doors for enrollment quite soon. I'll leave a link in the description uh, so you can save 20% uh, off when the doors open for enrollment. If you join the wait list, you can only get the, the, the discount uh, through that wait list if you join in. And uh, what does this have to do with the title of this uh, video? And I'll tell you what it has to do with. It's, it's, it's a struggle uh, for me, uh, or it's not a struggle, it's a, it's a challenge for me to be uh, selling music online, being the composer and wearing that hat, and at the same time work from home like I've been doing all these years, and having the family here... Uh, and try to find some some peace and quiet to to not only compose music and upload it and, and and keep my business running, but at the same time now that I have embarked in this uh, new journey of actually coaching, uh, doing uh, premium courses and 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 and, and really uh, teaching and having students where I have to pretty much take care and and really go back and forth well through emails and messages. And, and, and that has been such a success uh, for me uh, this year that obviously that brings a new level of, uh, of challenges as well for me uh, when it comes down to, to time and effort and how I allocate all of this uh, within my day while I'm still working here from home uh, with the kids. I mean, as we speak, my daughter is um, Fedra. She's in the room right now uh, playing. She's been grounded because... <laughs> 
is this is what happens when you have kids okay so uh, and my wife and my youngest daughter Melina they're having a, a nap a siesta here in Greece people uh, usually have a, a siesta midday it's like 1 one thirty right now here in Greece as I am recording this so I always have to find little uh, windows of opportunity to record uh, my music to do a vlog and, and peace and quiet and as well to to create my programs and my my paid courses and and but but I love my life I love my work I love the challenges I know that with every little success there's always a, a, a an equal challenge or uh, some kind of adversity might, might, might appear uh, around the corner and you have to deal with it. And, uh, but that's the price that we have to pay as composers, is, uh, as individuals, if we want to really uh, move ahead and really be successful. I was talking about trying to get some peace and quiet. I have a, a dog from the neighbor now going a little bit bananas. And, and that's what I teach as well to my students, that with every little success uh, that you're going to have, there's always going to be a new challenge for you. There's going to be an adversity. I have one student, for example, that uh, starts selling uh, music on all your jungle, and uh, there is some some taxation and some tax treaty that between the countries of uh, where he lives, and. Uh, you know, he realized that before he wasn't really selling that, that much or he wasn't having any sale. And uh, after taking my program, he actually went through the program and the training and, and he started making music and, and, and uploading to his profile on Audio Jungle and started making sales. But he realized that because of the tax treaty, he's getting a lot of uh, tax withholding. And I try to teach and try to, to always uh, look at it from a different angle that, yes, it's very little. It's unfortunate. We can't control about what tax... Uh, what countries have a, a tax treaty or not with the U.S. Um, but uh, this is a problem that you didn't have before because before you weren't selling. So that, that's my angle, you see. My angle is that now at least your music is out there and at least you're actually making sales. And now you have a new challenge or a new, uh, a new problem that you, you weren't aware that was, that was there before because you weren't making any sales. And, and I share my story as well. And I say, well, listen, when I sell uh, my music, for example, in, uh, in, in a particular Chinese uh, library, the taxation or, or the VAT is, 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 is humongous, okay? And, and, and I see the drop. And uh, when you convert that into euros, it, it's just it's really not that much. But that's an, a new set of problems that, that I'm having. But before, I didn't have that income coming, for example. And uh, you, can, you can see it from both ways. You can see it as something that is a, a misfortune or is something that is not fair. Or you can see it as, well, I am joining this new library and I'm actually having sales. It's not what I expected, but before it was nothing. So it depends how we see it, how we see success and how we see the challenges that, that, that are ahead of us and understand that with every success, there's going to be a new level of problems. So uh, I'm looking forward. To, to always move and, and to, to teach my students to move forward and push uh, to that next level of success that for everybody is different. Like I said, for you, it might be something like you don't know what type of music to compose or to record, uh, or you might not, or you might have already music, but you're getting a lot of rejection. That's a, that's a, a particular challenge, a particular, a particular struggle. Uh, or you might be already on music uh, libraries. You already have your music out there, but you're not seeing any sales. And for you, the fact that you actually make the music and get past the review and, and, and start building your catalog, that's not a problem for you. But the problem is that you're not see, seeing any sale. That's a particular uh, uh, struggle or a challenge. And, uh, and for others, it could be time management. It could be that you have a day job and you want to make your music and you want to learn and you want to actually make some money. Uh, with royalty-free music sites, and, and, and you, you, you're juggling all of these things uh, at the same time. So we are all in different uh, stages in our journey, and we all have different struggles and challenges. And, and, and of course, it's not easy, but it depends how we actually see it and how we actually uh, face it head-on and really own uh, our success and our challenges and our struggles and and adversities we when they come we are ready for them and we're actually waiting 
for them to we're not waiting for for negativity to arrive but we have to be prepared for sure because it, it's not going to be summertime all the time winter is going to come at some point and we have to be ready for it okay so anyways i don't want to make this video so long i hope this uh video finds you well again thanks a lot for all the love and support thanks for subscribing for the messages uh, for watching my videos and, and anything uh, regarding uh, royalty-free sites and stock music licensing uh, share this video with somebody if you think that somebody can benefit from this uh, type of information uh, links are in the description for my premium course that is going to be opening the doors for enrollment soon uh, I'll put as well um, in the description the, the video that I was talking about Jesse my colleague as well that he that, you know, this, this, this kind of uh, uh, comments and this kind of topics that he was talking about in the videos it, it, it's so close to my heart as well because I have gotten messages as well that uh, this is delusional or that you're misleading people to, to do something that, that, that you're saying that is easy. We're not saying that it's easy. We're just saying that it's hard work, but it is possible to, 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 to do this, okay? So um, that's it, you know. I hope you guys are doing fantastic again. Here's to your success and rock and roll.